Oops, don't drink and drive, kiddies. So I put out another two streams midweek, I think Tuesday, Thursday, Railroader. Um, they have been copied to YouTube if YouTube people want to watch them. They are a tad on the long side, I would say. Um, I think the one on Tuesday, I was hoping to make enough money to get a more capable locomotive so I could start considering the Bryson bridge repair works train. Uh, did I just... No, I did not. The, uh, the sawmill is further down. Um, we didn't... By the evening, we'd made just enough money to buy the locomotive um, if I sold the 10-wheeler. So I, I did sell the 10-wheeler. But uh, I couldn't buy the locomotive till the next morning. So Thursday's uh, stint was, I'm going to get out and see where all the blue markers are, over there. Oh. Do I go over here? So I took out the new locomotive on Thursday. Um, I did order the parts for ooh, whoa, 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 for the bridge repair, but that didn't turn up, so we did all the local freight stuff. Okay, hopefully, sell wood. Indeed, yes. Didn't strap it wood down. Uh, that was probably a bad thing to do. And can I get through? I can get through there if I drive it like a semi-trailer and the turn late makes wide left turns or I could just take this back to the uh, the uh, lumber area okay we'll do that I should probably get back in the cab because sometimes with a thing this big it's easier to do it this way So now that I've got this, I can get myself a grain cart and haul using a semi-truck rather than a tractor, which is going to make things a little bit faster since this does 55 miles an hour and my tractors do 30 except when they're full, in which case they're down to 7. Not sure this is a 56 mile an hour piece of road. It might be. You might supposed to slow down here where there's houses. This might be a 40 mile an hour section. There is a way to tell. Um, obviously not easily on the maps, um, but um, if the street lights are I don't know, 500 feet apart or less, then the maximum speed is 40 or something like that. And if they're further apart, then the maximum speed is 60. Um, but nobody's driving down the road with a tape measure trying to measure the distance between all the uh, lamp posts. So typically, if there is a slower speed, um, there will be little um, speed signs on each lamppost just indicating how fast you're actually supposed to be going there. But once we pass these houses, this should be a faster stretch of road. Uh, you're going to be in the way. Uh, I just crashed. That was awesomely done. Let's try this again. Let's go round him. get this right about here which should be far enough off the road that he can drive past he drove past that's good um, now I do not need hazards on I need the beacons off the lights off 
it's all very dark, that's good. Um, that's the sprayer, that's the that, that's the that, and that's the home. I think that's the home. Yeah. Okay, we will sleep until it's March. Oh, I'll go till eight. Okay. Oh, the shed went. <laughs> yes, I did sell that, didn't I? Okay, so the thing I want is... I want to... Ch I can't remember if I did all these things. Yeah. That's looking about right. Okay. What's all that? Oh, that's seed rates, and I haven't seeded the grass field, so that's all the thing. Um, let's go back, check the canola. Canola looks fine as well. Okay, just wanted to make sure. I thought I'd done all of the, the work I needed to do, and as far as other things go, um, grass starts cutting in May. So we've got all of March, all of April. I can do jobs or I can not do jobs. Uh, need to move that sometime. Possibly over here. Not going to worry about that right away. And somewhere in here I have a little blue tractor that I want to take to the store. I think it's on this side. I was wrong. I think it's on this side. Okay, um, actually, let's go forwards away from the wall a bit before we try and reverse it out of the door. And let's zoom in a bit so I can actually see what I'm doing. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to have to fix that somehow. Not sure how that's going to work, but yeah. Okay, let's... Uh, Go on a magical mystery tour, or not. I'm probably going to get myself a normal stump grinding tool. I got very used to those back in, you know, since the beginning. So while you can get sort of a a power harrow type mulching device that grinds up um, stumps. The, the sort of the, the rotary saw thing, I've never had a problem with it. Obviously not had an opportunity to use it on Farm Sim 22. I never even played um, on Silver Run Forest. But I had all the, um, what do they call them, um, season passes, so I got that. I got the Antonio Carrera tractors, which I have never used. It's sort of a, you know, do I really want to buy some of the, when I look at the expansions that you get, some of them are brilliant, some of them are okay, and some of them are like, I'm never going to use this. So if you buy a season pass, you just get all of them. Um, and if you buy them individually, they'll cost you a bit more. I think the season pass effectively gives you a free one. So if only one of them is, am I ever going to use this? then potentially you can just say, well, that was a free one anyway, so whatever. But things, you know, I, I've never done grape harvesting. I've never done um, olive harvesting. You know, it's, it's just not a thing. I've done, I think when... Uh, 
I think when I skid steer tools, turn handles, that's forestry tools, isn't it? Um, yeah, these things. You can either do these things or you can use this thing. I'm okay with using this thing. 90 horsepower, we'll buy that. It's probably cheap. £27,000. Uh, what's that? That's just a winch. Yeah, okay. It's £27,000, but whatever. I'll buy that. We have the money for now. But yeah, I, I, I think when Estancia Lapacho came out, I did the sort of simple, simple start. And the first thing you get to do is uh, is that off the ground? I guess it is. Now it is. Um, I did uh, the, the sugar cane harvesting once, and then I decided, yeah, not this. Is, this is hard work as a solo player, so I I kind of gave up doing that. Um, and it's similar with things like olive oil and um, and grapes. They're nice niche harvesting thing, you know, crops, but do I really want to get into them? Even with potatoes, I did play potatoes on one map um, because one of the fields I bought had potatoes in it, so I just decided, well, okay, we've got some, I'll harvest them, and then we'll see where we go from there. And I harvested them, and then I decided I'm going to plant another field full of potatoes because potatoes double up as seed. And so I planted a field of potatoes every year. And we did, you do make a lot of money from potatoes. You make a good amount of money from sugar beet too. So they, they're good. There is an incentive to do potato sugar beets, probably sugar cane. I have never really done the math on it. Um, I don't know about grapes and uh, olive oil. But... Uh, yeah, it, or, or well, olives, should I say. But there's an incentive to doing those crops because they are such a pain in the butt to harvest. Not necessarily always to plant. Potatoes are a pain to plant and cost a fortune. I, I would never choose to get into potatoes because you have to buy like 50,000 litres of, uh, of potatoes to... You know, do a crop do to plant a field, which is good grief. Seriously, that's a lot of money and a lot of seed, and it takes a lot of time. However, once you have, um, I'm going the wrong way. Once you have done it once, um, you don't have to buy seeds anymore. go that was I would say very simple should we go and do a big one so yeah it's potatoes is okay to do once you are um, once you're established with a crop but actually starting up that first You're not going to work. Oh. I'm not sure how this is supposed to work. But, uh, Go higher. 
I might just have to... Oh, there we go. Just wield it like a lightsaber. Oh, that works, I guess. I found in the past that the uh, I, when I steer the right way, I go, I do what I want to do. But I found in the past when using things like this, there's usually a sweet spot, like right there. And if you can get it exactly where it needs to be you can hit the tree every single time and if you can't get it exactly where it needs to be it's a battle of frustration all the way this way I'm steering it correctly but I'm wielding this all sorts of wrong and when I'm looking at it from the other side then I'm driving the wrong and wielding the, the thing correctly. Anyway, slowly erasing the logs. There you go. Gotcha. Okay, let's try that trick again. Okay, I'm going to suggest that putting the stump grinder to the left side of the stump seems to kill the stump off. And that's pretty much what I found with previous versions of Farming Simulator as well. Put it on the left as we're looking at it. Lower it down a bit and just sweep it across. Uh, might have to be a little bit closer. are a little bit harder. Okay, try forward, turn that way. Oh, there we go. There is a sweet spot for each trunk and yeah, once you hit it, it's like you have to wave this thing around like a lightsaber, but once you hit it, it's 
it does what it's supposed to do. easier. Whoa, I just found a thing. Wow. <laughs> okay, tilt it back. The production pack, I did not buy it. It looks interesting. I think I heard there were some issues with it, but it's kind of too it's too late in the game. Um, you know, I'm not playing very much farming simulator outside of my Saturday stream, so really it's not. Um, let's turn that off for a minute. Um, It's, it's not something I am likely to use in any great... Um, oh, hello. Yeah, it's... I mean, even back when Giants was doing the... We'll do a DLC in September before we bring out the new game. Um, it does look interesting but like I said this farm is established on what it's doing so I'm not really looking at oh, I have to go back a long way um, at introducing a whole new rack of um, you know, uh, what would you call it a whole new rack of um, things play options um, yeah we we're kind of a silage farm and I was thinking about doing cows originally um, we're getting to the point now where probably not going to do cows um, it's we're just too far along to uh, to do that well that didn't work but Yeah, with things like what in the past where we did we did Oakfield Farm, and Oakfield Farm was a sheep farm, no cows at all. We just did sheep, and we did thousands of sheep. We sold about five hundred sheep a year. No, we sold seven hundred and fifty sheep a year, and we bred like uh, seven hundred. No, we probably bred about eight hundred a year. It was just, it was a major sheep operation. Um, but that was that was what the farm was. Um, with law folds, we did we did a lot of things, cattle, and we did a lot of um, a lot of dairy with and silage again. Um, and then with the previous one to this one, Maypole, uh, Maypole was a dairy farm. So I come up with an idea of what I want to do with a farm and then I go with that. So when new mods come out late in the year, it's like if it doesn't fit with what I'm doing, it's not something I'm really going to add to the playthrough. So do I really want to... Um, to add it? to my list of staff. But sometimes it's it's a good thing to add. Um, oh, I'm stuck on the hedge. You did have to stop there, didn't you? Get out the way. 
You can get out of the way too. Now I've probably got someone behind me. So yeah, production pack, I might have thought about it had I, uh, were we not so well established. Oh, uh, oh you, duh. It's kind, of, yeah, it's kind of like um, the Platinum expansion. I've got the Platinum expansion. It's not loaded on this save because the only real benefits I can see from the Platinum expansion are, okay, there's the new map and the new crops, and the new crops do not play well with precision farming because precision farming isn't base game. I don't think Giants had any... Um, driving um, uh, what's the word for it um, driving incentive to to make precision farming work with the new crops which is unfortunate I think if if it was part of the part of the game then obviously you'd be looking at yes we need precision farming to work because it's base game stuff and that's unfortunate. Um, I am not sure if Giants will add precision farming to base game like they did with Seasons and everything else, or because it's a collaboration with governments and manufacturers, whether it will remain a separate thing. 